Hello and welcome back to another episode of Castle World Creator's Walkthrough. I am Blacksim Alchemy, the creator of Castle World, and I'm going to be walking you through part two of our series. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so as you can see, I have a new skin today. Uh, I made this last night. thought I'd be using this f going forward for uh, any future episodes that I make for you guys. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pick it up where we left off. Uh, in our last episode, I had uh, brought you guys to Salvation Castle. And uh, we stopped at Castle Information Booth where I showed off this uh, new NPC character that can give you guys directions to important areas in the castle. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pick up that storyline where we left off. Uh, first place we need to go to after speaking with the King's Consulate is the uh, castle library. So we'll go ahead and ask our NPC here how to get to the castle library. So just right click them and then you'll have your list here of uh, your different destinations. So we'll click library. The library can be found by going up the stairs directly behind you. Pretty self-explanatory. Right behind us here is the uh, library. So we're going to head up this way. Uh, the King's Consulate did say to look for a red banner with golden scroll. And as you can see, there's a red banner with golden scroll. Oh, also, uh, what do we have here? This is new. Uh, please donate to the library. So we're going to go ahead and right click that. There's $21 in there. I know we're taking from the library, but, you know, we got to rebuild our house somehow. So let's go to the library here. Uh, Caligostro is going to be down this way. Some more red banners. And then a building with the red banner and golden scroll and Caligostro. So let's go talk with him. Here's Caligostro's wife. Hello, dear. If you're looking for Caligostro, he's upstairs in his lab as usual. And that's where he is. He's upstairs. And he's a villager. A pretty cool looking one of that. Look at this face. It's only the face a mother could love. But he's got to be smart, right? The beard and the ear hair totally makes it. So anyways, let's uh, see what he has to say. I'm going to try another voice here today. <laughs> Caligostro. The consulate sent you? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. I know who you are now. Black Sun Alchemy. Your home was destroyed last night. I can see it from the library, and what the loss of those wonderful mushrooms. Who would have thought a meteor from the high heavens would ever land on the towns and villages in my lifetime? It's amazing. Well, maybe it was amazing to you for the experience, but I have a different opinion of the situation. Hmm, well, yes, I am sorry about that. Anyway, <coughs> uh, what has brought you to my humble lab here today? This meteor, it left behind a strange chest with magical items. Will you look at them, please? Why, why yes, yes, I, I have seen these items before. Remarkable, they should show up in a meteor, though. Hmm, something is afoot in the land of salvation. Ominous, not good. No, no, not good at all. Wait, Wh what is so ominous? Tell me. Well, how can I put this simply? The world we live in and the space we occupy are but one side, one reality, that exists in the same place at the same time. Think of it like a jar, and to this jar we add water, vinegar, and oil. All three ingredients exist in the same space and can pass through one another, but like oil and vinegar, each ingredient is its own separate existence. All exist together in the same place at the same time. Does that make sense? I think I understand. But now I really want a sandwich. So basically, whatever was in that chest came from vinegar, and we are the oil. Yes, exactly. And sandwiches do sound amazing right now, actually. Uh, yes, anyhow. The chest and its items come from the place we call the Nether, Terra Nether. We have identified five planes, Terra Mordor, the plane of magical beings and heroic creatures and powerful followers of the dark. Terra Titan, the plane of giant humans that hunt and eat the last of the small humans. 
Terra Nether, a plane of darkness and despair, no sunlight, and seas of fire. Terra Earth, a plane wrought by war and pollution, they use a magic called high technology. And our own plane, Terra Salvation. We aren't perfect, but there's no place like home. Really. This place, the Nether, how do you know about it, and why did the chest from this world crash into my house? It's a good question, and one I cannot answer, frankly. But I do know one thing. It had to have been sent from that plane into our plane on purpose. I think it just missed its mark. So, if this thing was sent on purpose, and it missed its mark, what was the intended destination? Those darn sorcerers. They must have done this. There's one particular student of the arts that has been up to strange things lately. Kefka. It must be him. It all makes sense now. The experimentation. The obsidian. The sacrament of the wither. The night before... Fuck some alchemy. I'm sorry, but we have to end this conversation now. I must speak with the king at once. Please, return to the King's Consulate for further instructions. I'll head back to the Consulate. Then you get your uh, quest completion from this, and it says, Under the direction of the Consulate, you found Caligostra's lab and learned about Terra Nether and a dangerous student named Kefka. What more can you learn from the King? And uh, you complete your quest, and then you're rewarded with 5 bucks of gold and 16 bucks. Yippee, yippee, more money. So, we are five blocks of gold closer to owning an Elytra, which will come in very, very handy uh, if you want to get back to the town quickly. Um, so, you'll see over here that Caligrostro, our friend here, has collected some uh, relics from the different uh, Terras that he has identified. Uh, as you can see here, we have a little Lord of the Rings reference in Terra Mortar. We got uh, Bilbo Baggins' weapon of choice, Sting. And if you look in the chest, you got some wizard gear, if you want to take it, and a glass bottle. And if you look here, you got Terra Titan. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's from the show Attack on Titan. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of hard to find something that goes inside of Minecraft, or the custom NPCs mod that would fit for that. But uh, there's some military commissar gear. Terra Nether, obviously, and you got some demon armor, and then Terra Earth, you get a cool tuxedo, and uh, just so you guys know, like I said before, uh, brewing is okay in this game, uh, like I said, you either have to find the items to brew with, or you have to buy them yourself, and uh, I'm just going to let you guys in on a little secret, which is not really a secret, but some people might not notice it, but if you open this chest here... There's some plenty of stuff to brew with right there. Wink, wink, hint, hint. But you don't even know what you need it for yet, so you might want to come back here later. Oh, uh, really quickly, I'm going to look, look out the, the back porch here. Okay, so off Caligoso's lab, there's a little bridge. And this bridge takes you across this chasm. Right, meow. And you'll have this building here. And this is the Tribute of the Eight Kings. This is the area that I just recently redecorated and added uh, mob spawns to. There's actually some really dangerous mobs over here uh, that I do not recommend taking on with the gear you have now. But I'm going to take you over there anyways because I might as well since I just built it. So, you, so if you see there's a bridge here and it says Cross Bridge to Tribute of the Eight Kings. The Purpur Palace and Black Rock Castle. So this first structure is the tribute. And these are the first eight kings of salvation. And what happened was is there was a great war a long time ago. And all of these people were once enemies. Uh, they had been fighting eternally for hundreds of years. And the gods were so disgusted with their uh, incessant violence towards each other that they cursed the land and made it barren and dry and no one could grow crops and everyone was starving and, and uh, couldn't find clean water or even water at all and uh, luckily the prayers of a child 
uh, uh, softened the hearts of the gods and the gods felt pity for these peoples and gave them reprieve but made a deal with them and said if you want us to bless the land with rain and the elements once more to make nature thrive all eight peoples eight nations must come together and form a mega city which is a city down below and the city up here and live in peace and they did and they built this and this is their tribute for their hard work and how they all came together and made it happen and uh, so as you notice each of these uh, eight kings and queens uh, have their signature item, their weapon, or their shield, in the case of the Wood Elf, Alessandro. Uh, and then we come over here to the other side, and you have the other kings. The Cat King, the Wolf King, the Dwarven King, and the Orc King. And uh, you see they all have their signature items. Well, if you go this way down here, and come around this corner, uh, you will see the uh, mausoleum of the kings right here, and it's a little overgrown, so you kind of have to, you know, cut your way in through the spider webs. But uh, there are some soldier spirits down here that guard this, uh, these weapons and items, and uh, f you know, for good reason, I guess. It's, if you got this loot really easily, it wouldn't be worth it. It just seemed like it was too easy. So uh, I'm a little hesitant to provoke these guys because they will just kill me right away. Uh, not only are they fast, they do a lot of damage, but I'll show you what one looks like and then I want to make a mad dash for the exit so I don't have to make my way back up. If you just peek, see that axe? That's the Human King's axe. It has sharpness 5 and I believe it has some breaking on it as well. So it's definitely worth it. But if you see right there, oh, he sees me. Oh crap! Okay, I gotta go. Oh, I'm gonna go the wrong way. He's probably gonna kill me. Oh shoot! Oh, I'm stuck in a spider's web. Oh, this is not good. Okay, I gotta keep running. I gotta keep running, or I'm in trouble. Oh no no no! No, I got cornered. I'm cornered. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. So, like I said, don't take him on unless you have better gear. I want to respawn really quick, and then I'm just going to go ahead and jump right back to where I was, because if I'm going to make you guys a walkthrough video, I need to uh, keep it under time. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, he came back. He came back for more. I'm probably going to die again. Oh, jeez. All right. Sorry, guys. Uh, I might actually cut this, but I might keep it just to show you guys how brutal this game can be to people who are unprepared. Let's see if I can run them around in circles and just take my stuff back in the in the process. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna run. Now I'm running for it. I want to get out of here. I need to get out of here before he gets me. He's probably gonna follow me all the way to the guards. But luckily, the guards will save me. The guards are pretty much indestructible in this game. So if you're getting chased by an overly powerful uh, sp soldier spirit. Go find a guard, and the guard will save your life, as they're supposed to do, I guess. Um, I did make the mistake of not wearing my armor when I went down there, so that was pretty foolish of me. I lost my sword, though. Whoa! He's just going to town over there. I want to. I want to um, leave the area. Soldier spirit is still just wrecking people over there. So do not poke a hornet's nest if uh, you don't uh, have the tools to get rid of them. I want to go ahead and eliminate these teleport points really quick. I only keep them, you know, use them once. All right. So I guess what I should probably do is go get a sword. Luckily, you get a sword in the quest line coming up. I could go steal that sword from Cal Actually, you know what? I might do that. Although Sting in this game is ridiculously overpowered. Uh, you know, if you want the game to be a challenge, don't steal Sting. But if you want to, steal it. I don't care. I just did. So as you see, Sting has looting 3 and sharpness 5 and has 10 attack damage. So it's way more powerful than a diamond sword in this game. 
and it kicks some butt. It might make the next couple fights seem easy as a result, but whatever. I needed a sword. I needed something to defend myself. Alright, we're going to make our way back. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I lost my bread, too. Boo-hoo. At least I got my money. I got money. So, since I need to buy some more food, I'm going to go down this way. Uh, if you go right of the information booth and just keep following the signs and coming around this corner, there's a place where you can buy some food. Right here. Good eats. Just right-click them and... Bada-bing, you can buy some yummies. I'm going to buy a few more steaks. That should be good. That's good. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's see here. You got a bank. Another bank, just like down in Spire Town. They're actually linked together. So if you stored stuff in Spire Town and then came to this bank, the goods at, from Spire Town would still be available at this bank. They're interchangeable. So every bank location, it shares. It's like an ender chest, if you want to look at it that way. Um, okay, so I got some food. I'm good in that department. I'm actually going to take my gold and store it, now that I think about it. Maybe store some money. So I'm going to right-click them, and you can't shift-click into the container, which is a real big flaw in my book. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, just drop some stuff in here. I lost my eye vendor as well. Bummer. A bummer. Um, that's just shit. Oh, Respiration 3 book. That's right. I don't, I don't want to lose that. That should be good. That should be good. And I'm actually going to put my helmet on. I was so excited about my new skin, I didn't want to cover it in my head. What do I look like with that on? Uh, I look alright. It looks kind of weird, but whatever. I'm protected. There is a cart track, a minecart track, that goes all throughout the castle. Um, I don't want to ruin that part yet, so we'll come back to that. We'll access the rail from a different part. So we're going to make our way back down to the King's Consulate, and we're going to go and uh, have a cute little conversation with him about our conversation with Caligostra. All right, so we're back down to the main entrance to the castle. That's the upper entrance to the castle. And let's start with the consulate. Blackson Alchemy, I've heard what Calgrosto has told you. Please, feel free to speak with King Siren anytime it is available. We must find Kefka at once. We will find him. I have questions for him myself. All right, so now we can go talk to the king. The invisible barrier has been broken down. And if you speak to Grievous, Blackstone Alchemy, you may pass by the grace of the consulate. Kneel before your king. Thanks. Nyeh. Okay, so you can't kneel in Minecraft, obviously. But, uh, whatever. It's a video game, guys. It's a Minecraft video game. Siren, king of castle salvation. Here we go, guys. Blackstone Alchemy, arise. I understand your domicile has been severely damaged. And perhaps by the misdeeds of a student of sorcery run amok. I offer you the full restoration of your home by means of measurable payment. However, as your king and you, my former swordsman, I require your assistance. My guards have their hands full with the nightly raids of zombies, spiders, and skeletons. We have not the resources to spare soldiers to seek one man in a castle so large. We know Kefka is hiding in the castle, but his whereabouts remain a mystery. This place is old, with many passages and secret pathways. I implore you to seek information from other castle courtesans and workers. But first, a swordsman needs proper equipment. I will provide you with all you need and more. Will you heed my call? Grace, I am honored but it's been many years since I put down my blade. There isn't another more capable? Black Sun Alchemy. I was there 15 years ago 
on the battlefield. The goblins came down from their mountain home. You were there, fighting then for home, for family, and for country. You fought valiantly, slaying many in your wake. What is living if not for the sake of empowering others? I'm empowering you, now, to make a difference when it matters most. What say you? I shall hear your call, Your Grace. Excellent. I am glad you have accepted my offer. Now, a good swordsman needs proper equipment. Seek the lower levels of the castle by means of the hallway to my right. His office can be found near the prison. Go at once. All right. Yes, Your Grace. Your liege. So, these are his guards. If you talk to them, they can offer some dialogue as well. I remember you, Blux and Alchemy. I fought alongside you in the Goblin Wars. And then this guy says, These are indeed troubling times. I hope you find answers to the questions you seek. Aye. So do I. So, hallway to his right, which is right meow. When you read these signs, it says down to you, Castle Lounge, Royal Apartments, and Prison. So we're going to head our way down a couple levels here. Uh, this is authorized personnel only, but you can get in here from another direction through the water gardens. And this guy right Mia is the king's art curator, and he will offer you a pretty neato quest line. And he will become a neato vendor after the quest line. How cool is that? Let's keep going. So here's more of the rail line that goes through the castle. Takes you different points in the castle. Comes in handy. Uh, this is the castle lounge and royal apartments. So this is where a lot of the people who live in the castle come and hang out. They get some good food, have a few drinks, talk gossip about what's going on. And uh, if you go down this hallway over here, this is goes to the royal apartments. But before we go there, we're going to go downstairs some more and go down to the prison down below. And as you see... Uh, this door closed on me it's employees only obviously so I'm not an employee so I can't go that way this is uh, booking information booking and information desk so here's the information desk so let's ask this guy where the captain of the guard is oh and speaking of which as you can see uh, this is the quest that you were just given by the king and it tells you to go speak with the captain of the guard in the lower levels of the castle, his office can be found near the prison. So, since we're near the prison, let's ask this guy. Hello, and welcome to the Salvation Prison and Guard Barracks. How can I assist you today? I'm looking for the captain of the guard. The king sent me to speak with him. Captain Dakin can be found by going through the iron door marked. Employees only. It's normally locked, but I'll open it for you. Once through the door, stay to the right, and his office is near the records department. Have a nice day. Thanks. What a nice guy. What a nice... That is a crazy beard, though. Looks like a bib. So, as you can see, the employee's only door is now unlocked, and we can proceed through. Uh, there's a guard room in here. You won't find anything cool in here. Sorry, guys. You think they would leave cool stuff in here, but the guards, you know, they take everything with them when they leave. Only when they're sleeping do they leave stuff there. Let's see what this guy has to say. He's... Obviously bored. He's staring at the wall. This post is way too boring. I bet. I bet. Look at this. You're just in this big hallway. Of course it's boring. Uh, oh, castle defense area. There is a really cool secret over here, guys. Uh, but like the uh, what happened with the tribute of the eight kings. Be prepared before you go there. Or you're going to have your butt handed to you. You might even get thrown off the edge of the castle to your death. Alright, so there's the captain's office. We're going to get near it, and it's going to trigger the completion of the location quest. Like that. You have found the captain of the guard. Speak with him about the king's orders. He will provide you with the equipment you need. Yes, he will. So we're going to go ahead and speak with Captain Dakin in his office here. You must be Black Sun Alchemy. The king sent a messenger ahead of you. So the king has the swordsmen of the Red Mountain on his payroll once more, eh? 
Yeah, that's your nickname. The Swordsman of the Red Mountain. That was a long time ago. I'm just here to find Kefka. Hmm. Perhaps. Time takes its toll, but a swordsman is always a swordsman. Actually, I'm glad to see you, believe it or not. This Kefka character has a lot of people in the castle spooked. He's completely disappeared, and the other sorcerers are not cooperating. The sooner we find out what he's up to, the better. I agree. I also want to talk to him about the damage to my house. Ha! Is that all you care about, swordsman? A home is nothing if it's not safe. And right now, the castle and its towns are everyone's home. Now take these armaments and go seek out this character. I suggest asking ranking officers or castle courtesans. Not sure if the sorcerers will be of any help. There's also the castle lounge of Floor Up. Go look around. Will do, thanks. So, uh, one of the things with this NPC, custom NPC bug that I've noticed is that he won't give you the equipment right away. So the easiest way to expedite him giving you the equipment is if you right click him again and then press E and then boom he gives you the equipment. I don't know why it does this so if any of you guys are having that weird issue I apologize. I've tried to fix it but to no avail. So it says uh, take these items and use them to complete your mission to find the mysterious Kefka. So you complete and then he gives you a iron bronze sword full iron helmet and full iron chest plate and a shield. I want to go ahead and equip the shield. I'm going to save these for later because this iron piece looks way cooler. As you can see, this uh, looks a little simple. So we're going to put on the cool looking stuff. And let's move on. Alright, so uh, now we uh, we're given the equipment that we need and we can go ahead and go up one floor and ask for information at the castle lounge. Ho ho! Whack 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 whack. All right. All right. Prison exit. All right. So we're going back to the nightclub, and this is going to trigger a lot of dialogue that's going to just pop up. So you just kind of have to deal with it. <laughs> Uh, this guy here sells food. Papa John sells some foodies. There's also a kitchen over here. They're all running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Uh, so anyways, um, this guy, you can talk to him. Hey, Black Sun Alchemy, you probably shouldn't be back in the kitchen right now. Bye. <laughs> he didn't even give you a chance to respawn. He's just like, get out of here. Get out of my kitchens. Alright, so here we go, uh, let's talk to this bartender, I talked to the bartender if you want information, oh he's not the bartender, he's the hostess, by the way, those mages seem a little suspicious, yeah I guess, they look like they're gothic for sure, looks like they're whispering about some conversation, if you uh, have some free time it'd be kind of neat to sit there and listen to it for some background lore, what's this guy got to say? Doesn't matter what you're trying to do. Your plan will fail. Give up now or lose your life. My, my. Aren't you a grumpy Gus? You seem like a grumpy guy. Uh, quick shout out over here. I, I put this in the game. Uh, this is Nops. Nops is a creator of custom NPCs mod. And I also have some of his old crew members in here too. So if this is uh, Smokey Sam Cat. Right, meow. And then this over here is uh, Dark Signal, and all three of these guys were having a conversation with the Mahjong executive about making millions of dollars, and they call it Minecraft RPG, which Mahjong, if you do are listening, you should make a Minecraft RPG, because that would be awesome. I mean, totally. Anyways, uh, these are some of the dwarves over here. The dwarves will give you some cool little dialogues about the elemental shrines. I hear the Shrine of Fire was hidden in the castle. Not even King Seer knows how to find it. But rumor has it, the mages figured it out. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. Also have another tribute over here to uh, Lord of the Rings. We have little Samwise Gamgee and Strider. Sitting down, chilling. Who would have thought the ring would still exist here? Say... You wouldn't happen to have seen someone with a gold ring, perhaps. 
People keep calling me a kid, but I'm 85. Alternate realities. One where the ring of the power exists, but Soren does not. So they're here in this reality from Terra Mordor to get the alternate reality ring. The one ring. I know, it's ridiculous. This game doesn't make any sense. Like I said before, this game does not make sense. If you ever want to know anything about Salvation Castle, just ask a bartender. Hint, hint, people. They're basically all saying, hey, talk to the frickin' bartender. So we're going to ask her. Barbara. Hey there, what can I get you? I'm looking for some information, actually. If you're looking for information, I'm afraid I can't really help. I'm new here. Just started today. Ask the other guy. He's born and raised in the castle. You born and raised in the castle? Wow. Alright, so let's talk to this guy. He's got a meat cleaver. That's always weird. You know, it's like, hey, uh, why do you have a meat cleaver if you're a bartender? Should you be, like, serving drinks? And why do you have a meat cleaver? So let's just, uh, let's find out why. Dexter, can I get you a drink? Uh, was just hired by the king, was looking around. So, you're that swordsman the king hired. You look familiar. I've seen your face before. Let me guess. Mushrooms. Cliff Town! Oh, sorry, I spoke over you. Mushrooms, did you say mushrooms? Uh, Mushroom Mansion. You, you own that place, right? Yeah, I was way off. You live in a completely different town. So, uh, how did you go from mushrooms to being a swordsman? Let's just say. I used to be one a long time ago, and uh, I have my own reasons for being here. Mm, must be a pretty good reason, I hope. Well, anyways, what brings you to the lounge tonight? Looking for a drink? Actually, I'm looking for someone. Who are you looking for? Some ruffian? Or is it... Whispers? Student of sorcery? Black Sun Alchemy? I never told you my name. That's right, you didn't. But maybe I already know you. I don't like games. Tell me who you really are. I am isn't important. Kefka will succeed. Da, da, da. Oh boy, now he wants to take me on. Alright, come on Dexter, come over here, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, boy. I got more reach than you, I got a sword, you got a meat cleaver. You can't stop me, boy. You can't stop me. Alright, the bartender was an agent of Kefka. Does he really have spies everywhere? As you look down at your defeated foe, the realization strikes you. This will be but one of many battles. Let's go ahead and see what he dropped here. You got a meat cleaver, a little diary, some money, more money, 32 bucks. Okay, let's go ahead and read this bartender note here. Deliver the message to Halinx. You will know him by his horned hood. Also, a swordsman has been hired by the king himself. Send the swordsman a message, would you kindly? Would you kindly? If you guys don't know what that's from, that's an inside joke from uh, the first Bioshock. Alright. So, Horned Hood. We already know there's a guy over here with the Horned Hood. So, it's pretty safe to assume that's the guy we want to be talking to. Go ahead and fill myself up real quick. There he is, Horned Hood Man. Holding the staff. A mithril staff with that. Let's see what he's got to say. Oh, he doesn't want to talk. He wants to fight. All right. Let's uh, take him out. Like I said, if the NPC attacks you in this game, he's fair game. Fair game to take out. I stay close to his melee range so that way he doesn't shoot me with his staff. Oh, got him. Let me drop some good stuff. And another diary. Another note. What does this note say? So, uh, oh, I, I lost my mana. That's right, when I died, I lost my mana. I think. What a bummer. I was going to show you guys this staff, but I have to go buy some more mana. So what else did he drop? He dropped not only the Mithril Staff, uh, but he also dropped a Potion of Leaping. And uh, let's read his orders here. The transition is almost at hand. Soon we will have worked... Soon all we have worked for will come to fruition. A swordsman is looking for me. The others already know. You must not allow anyone to find where we hit it. 
I will have further instructions for you. In the meantime, meet Giger at the Fighting Pit and beware the swordsman. Giger at the Fighting Pit, guys. That's where we're going next. And thankfully, that's where the bank is, too. Because I want to go store some stuff. Um, Alright, so we can leave this area for now and go ahead and head on over to the Fighting Pit. We're going to just go back up the stairs for now. We'll take the rail line soon. i just like to take the time to talk to you guys on the way up. Uh, like I mentioned in my last episode, and I'm going to mention it again. Uh, if you do like my videos and my stupid commentary, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, as well as follow me on Planet Minecraft. It'd, be, uh, it'd help me out a lot and uh, give me the motivation that I need to make more episodes as well as add more content to my gigantic map. Uh, and thanks again for the support that you guys have already shown me and the awesome amount of downloads and views that I've already gotten of this map. Uh, but, uh, you know, the more the merrier, as they say. So we're coming back around over here to the fighting pit area. And I'm going to go ahead and drop some stuff off in the bank real quick. Right meow. Doing the adult thing, you know. Storing stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put this potion of leaping array, uh, these orders away because I already know where to go. Because I made this map. This is my map, guys. I made the map. Took me five years. Okay. That's good enough, I believe. And let's go ahead and proceed. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's go ahead and look around the fighting pit. So this is fighting pit area. There's some pretty cool stuff here. Some cool backstory if you want to uh, listen to what these guys have to say as well as listen to the Shogun story up there. Uh, if you want to watch a fighting match, it's real easy. All you got to do is come over here and right click this dispenser here and right click this other dispenser here and the two fighters that come out will automatically start fighting each other. But here's the catch, guys, just so you know. Uh, they will fight for days and days and days and days. They have very similar stats, so they'll fight at least for 3,000 rounds. So you guys, I guess you guys have something to bet on, I suppose. But if you do it too many times, you're going to get mad uh, FPS lag. So I don't really recommend it if um, you're streaming or anything like that. But if you want to do it in your game, it's kind of fun to watch. It's kind of neat. It's a cool gimmick. But I don't want to do it right now because of the FPS, the frames per second lag. I don't want it. But this guy, what does he got to say? That darn Geiger character has taken over my supply storage room behind the fighting pit. What else does he say? I wouldn't try taking him on to combat. He's very powerful. Best to just watch where he goes. He's been scribbling in that journal of his. So, Geiger's got a journal. Let's go see what the bad boys got. He says over behind the fighting pit. Which I assume would be this way. Handed into the underbelly of the castle. As you can see, the castle's castle's pretty big. Uh, it goes all the way down to the bottom. We can get from the very, very bottom. And make your way all the way up to the very top. If you're so inclined. Oh, there's Geiger right there. Uh, hold on one sec. i got to check something really quick, guys. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. I just had to do a quick sound check to make sure I didn't record for half an hour and have reverb in my microphone, which would have sucked. Okay, so Geiger is right around here, and we're going to follow him and see where he went. Supply storage room. Oh, there he is. Go ahead and sneak into here really quick. Let's see if we can read his journal before he gets back. Right here. We finally found it, and it's been under our noses all this time. The castle never ceases to surprise me. Send men down to the lower level transit station. Take the loop line to the observation deck. The entrance is hidden above the observation deck near a tree. We must get the tablet from them no matter the cost. The men are expendable so long as we achieve our goal. The Xivia stone is volatile and dangerous, but it will reveal the Xivia's room to us. 
We require at least three men for this operation. Make sure they are well armed. The golems that guard the Exivius tablet are fierce and relentless, but they are not impervious. Destroy them. Signed Kefka. Oh, you think Giger would have signed that if it was his journal? But you know, I screwed up. I'm in, I'm fessing up to it right now. I messed up. It's supposed to be Giger's journal, not Kefka's journal. Let's see what Giger has to say, anyways. Well, if it isn't the king's newly appointed swordsman, you're a lot smaller than I was expecting. What do you want from me? I'm looking for Kefka. Hey, get back here. I'm looking for Kefka. Word on the street is, you're the one to talk to you about this. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't be telling you anything, swordsman. I found a, no <laughs> I found a note on Halinx from Kefka telling him to meet you near a fighting pit. Know anything about that? Hmm. You took out Halinx, eh? Hey? Doesn't matter. You're too late anyway, swordsman. You want to find anything else out, you're going to have to take me out. Sure you're ready for that? I'm going to pass up fighting Geiger for the time being. He's uh, he's pretty powerful. He's got over 150 hit points and regeneration 2. So, uh, like I said, he'd probably hand your butt to you with the current equipment that we have. So I'm going to skip the, skip the fight. Uh, okay, so we have to go to the lower level transit station. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the rail line now. Uh, but just so you guys can have a little sneak peek of how big this castle really is. If you hop over this ledge here and look down. Yep. You can uh, search every floor. There's lots of stuff to uh, go explore down there. So uh, have fun, guys and girls. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back over by the fighting pit. We're going to take the uh, minecart line down to the transit station. Here, there's a money cart in this chest, as well as five dollars. More money, guys. No, speaking of which, I want to hold on really quick here. I want to go put my money away. I don't want to lose all that money if I die, which I might. Just might. I'll probably take thirty-seven. Actually, I want to take sixteen bucks pretty reasonable amount to carry around on you for some food. Buy a little bit more food while I'm here. Do, do, do. Two more steaks. That's good. Alright. Let us get onto the minecart track and head down to the transit station. So it says if we go to the right, we'll go to the Hall of Mages. And if we go left, we will go to the transit station. So let's go ahead and pop that on there and just press forward. And let gravity take us down. We look at all that craziness. What's that, guys? Hmm, that looked uh, interesting. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Perhaps. Oh, there's some of the underbelly. And bada bing. We are in the transit center. Uh, there's also... Oh, look at that. This is the reason why I gave you guys the NPC wand. Since you guys will be going around the castle so much, it's going to bug out. Some of these guys are going to bug out. So the easiest way to fix that is grab the NPC wand, look into the sky, hit reset all, press the E button, and then boom, all the NPCs that were in this area have uh, reset, and uh, we can interact with them now. So, like I said, this uh, area will bug out. Welcome to the transit station. Please push a button on the dispenser for a cart. The lines run in the loop. Pick which direction you would like. There you go, guys. So, we want to go to the observation deck, so this line will take us there. Let's just go ahead and push that dispenser. And let's go. We It's like a ride at Disneyland. Uh, okay, this uh, area here, real quick, I'll show it to you, is another food area where you can buy more food. And there's also a vendor over here 
that sells golden apples for a good price too, for only five bucks. So just so you guys know, if you need a golden apple, that's where they're at. But the enchanted golden apples, you can only get one from one vendor in this game, and that's down by the spawn point where you first start the game. I showed you in episode one. All right, so this is the Royal Apartment stop, so we're gonna keep going to the observation deck. And it's gonna take us beyond the castle and up the side of the mountain where the observation deck is. And like I said before, if you guys do like this video and my stupid commentary, please like and subscribe. And it would uh, help me a lot and give me the motivation that I need to make more videos as well as add on to this gigantic map that I've made. Alright, so now we're at the observation deck where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to get above the observation deck. Hello, swordsman. You come to see the view? This is my favorite guard post. The view is great. Kind of hard to see the view when you have your video settings. That let's do this real quick, guys. So we can show it to you. Just give it a sec to render in. And there you go. Look at that. Isn't that magnificent? It took me. You know, I worked on the the castle alone, just the the, the white castle here. That took me about three years to build. So you know, hope you guys appreciate how intricate and how many rooms there are in this place. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my render settings back down for the sake of FPS. All right. Don't tell him, but I think that guard's kind of cute. Oh, you young love, young love. All right, so if you want to get above the observation deck, you just come around this corner here, and then there is a ladder on the ladder. And it will take you up here. And if you come over by this tree, there's a little trap door you can open. And hop yourself down. And boom. You are in the room holding the Xivius crystal. And uh, I think this is a good place to leave it off, guys. Um, I'll, I'll uh, show you the Xivius room and the bad guys that you're going to find in here uh, in the episode tomorrow. So uh, I hope you guys like this. Like I said before, please uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as follow me on Planet Minecraft. And I will see you guys tomorrow with episode 3. Have a good night, guys. And uh, I will be talking to y'all later.